to all my dear students i hope you all are fine and good at home and i hope you are doing your work very nicely and in, you are enjoying the classes i hope everything whatever is being taught in the class we are going through that again so that that can be in your mind and that you can remember okay and whatever assignment we are giving you to learn that also you are learning very well today we are going to discuss here gk my dear in gk i am going to talk to you all about the bharat ratna awards that is chapter number 5 so i hope while watching this video you will keep your book open with you in front of yourself so that whatever i will explain to you that you will uh, watch and see minutely and the topic sh should get clear with the help of the videos only okay and rest all we will discuss in the classes only your queries and problem so let's move on my dear it's general knowledge it's a very interesting subject it's build up our mind okay with the help of general knowledge we get aware about the environment about the nature about so many things which is happening in the world okay we used to get aware all the things which is happening around the world it's a very interesting subject if you will keep your interest if you will keep your keen interest in this it will you will be have fun in learning the, this subject and in understanding this subject okay you all are already knowing my name and we are going to move ahead with bharat ratna awards i hope everyone has taken out the page and now let's move ahead my dear this is the bharat ratna award it is the most pre prestigious award i can say this is the bharat ratna award how it looks that is the picture i have i am showing you okay the front side of the picture is shown to the, the to this side and the back side of the reverse side means the back side is shown here so this is how the bharat ratna looks okay this is how it looks like okay it is given it is a award given to the brave for the bravery for the achievement or for anything which uh the uh, which uh, the people used to do for the good for, uh, that can create something good and valuable thing for the nature for the world so this award is given to those person and this can be given in any of the field there is no specific field for giving this it can be given according to the work according to the things which you have done and which is related which is helpful for the world here i am going to discuss to you all what is bharat ratna award an award is recognition for the extraordinary works and unusual achievements okay everyone can not do we are knowing this everyone is different everyone is different some are very good in studies some are very good in playing some love playing cricket some love doing some other work some love planting some love doing some work craft work so every person in the world is different from each other so that difference only makes you unique and makes you unusual from the other ones and if in that uniqueness you do something good something best for the world that with for that only you get achievement and for that only this award is being given bharat ratna is a confessed people conferred people from various field for their amazing performance and the achievements we have created some set of 10 lines below on the bharat and you can see some lines i am not dictating that much line to you all it just you keep in your mind okay that it is a very valuable award which is been given to the person okay who used to do any extraordinary work or been recognized for their work for their unusual achievements okay then this award is been given to them for their particular field the first person about which i am going to discuss here who has got the bharat ratna award as there are so many of those person in the world who has got the bharat ratna award for their extraordinary unusual work but few are given in your book 
that we are going to discuss today like c rajgopalacharya on 10 december 1878 to 25 december 1972 means he was a former chief minister of tamil nadu he was a former chief minister of tamil nadu we will going to discuss that what extraordinary work he has done in that field for which he has got bharat ratna award you can see here he was born, born on 10th december 1878 in madras then he was died in the death uh, his death was on 28th december 1972 He worked for as a freedom fighter. Freedom fighter, do you know, my dear? Freedom fighters are those persons who has fought for the freedom of our country from the British. Okay, from the British. So he was also one of that. Okay, he has also fought for the freedom of the country. Rajgopal Acharya is considered the Chanakya of the history of modern India. he was awarded for awarded bharat ratna in 1954 he was given the award in 1954 for the achievement for the things which he has implemented he has done for the country and he as he was a freedom fighter he fought so hard for the us so that we can live the life which we are living right now right now okay the next person about which i am going to discuss here is dr sarvapalli radhakrishnan i know that this name is not new to you you all have heard this name dr sarvapalli radhakrishnan was a great scholar teacher and the second president of india dr sarvapalli radhakrishnan was born on september 5 1888 at a place of so my dear you can see he is a great scholar he was having a very brief knowledge about the subject he taught so many of the things to all the people of the country till he survived okay from the time when he got birth after that when he was matured from that time he has just involved himself in educating in educating the whole world and he has implemented so many of the things through which people can learn people can achieve so many of the things in their life we used to celebrate teachers day that is 5th september on because of dr sarvapalli radhakrishna if you are i hope you this one you are knowing this all you you all are knowing so he was a great teacher and he was also second president of india and he has done so many things for the world for india that is why the bharat ratna award was given to him some more points about radha krishnan radha krishnan was a subsequent president and the first vice president of india he was conceived on 3rd september 1888 in tiru tana tani tani town of tamil nadu there is a town that is that is named as tiruthani town and it was in tamil nadu he had his essential in instructions at the christian teachers organization okay luther mission school the name where he has done this all is the luther mission school he finished graduation and post graduation from madras christian christian college okay from christian college he wedded to siva kamu radha krishnan in 1904 okay means he was wedded by he was wedded to shiva kamu kamu radha krishnan in 1904 he was already we have learned he was also the vice president the first vice president of india now we are going to discuss about the next person which you are seeing the picture here is sir c v raman sir c v raman is one of the most renowned scientist okay provide produced by india okay he was the most okay renowned 
scientists which are being produced by India means he was born in India. His full name was Chandrasekhara Ven Venkata Raman. Okay, Chandrasekhara Venkata Raman for his prisoner work of scattering of light. C. V. Raman won the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1930. Okay, he has got the Nobel Prize for Physics. Okay, in 1930, Chandrasekhar Ven Venkata Raman was born on November 07, 1888, in yes, he in Thiru Na Thiru Chinnapalli at. Tham, Tamil Nadu. Okay, he was born there. Hmm. He was the second child of Chandrasekhar Iyer and Paravathayama. Paravathayama. Okay. So he was the second child, and with the help, uh, with the with the, he has done so much achievements in the subject of physics. He has done so much. implementation he has in, in, invented so many things in the field of physics and that is why he has got the award for that that is the bharat ratna award which was awarded to him he was a great scientist and for his achievement and the work done for the country he has been awarded with the var bharat ratna award now the next person which we are having with us is Lal Bahadur Shastri. Okay, Lal Bahadur Shastri birthday was what was birthday. We also celebrate on second October with on the day when we used to celebrate Gandhi Jayanti. Lal Bahadur Shastri born on second October nineteen zero four, a Gandhian, a socialist, and the second Prime Minister of India. He is popularly known for his simplicity. and his hard work for his leadership in 1965 war with pakistan he was one of the popular prime minister of india and people still remember him for his simplicity he was the most simplest person we can say as a prime minister we had he worked so hard and for and worked as a leader in the war which was held on 1950 1965 with pakistan he was a great leader he was a great fighter also we can say and for that only he has got the bharat ratna award okay his birthday we used to celebrate when we used to celebrate gandhi jayanti we all remember gandhi jayanti but on that day lal bahadur shastri birthday is also there only few people know this so you will keep this also in your mind that this year when you will celebrate gandhi jayanti you will celebrate the birthday of lal bahadur shastri also the next person which we are having is jrd okay jrd tata what is the meaning of jrd jahangir ratan ji dhabai dhaboy okay he was born in on 29 july 1904 and died on 29 november 1993 father of indian ship civil aviation aviation okay he was a, known as the father of indian civil aviation founder of tata consultancy service tata motor titan i think it is name you all are knowing titan okay and the tata motor of which car and vehicles are there in uh, industries like tata t world voltas and air india the flight we used to in which we used to go from one place to another this also was from his company awarded india's highest civilian award bharat ratna and padma vibhushan award also he has got tata group grew from dollar 1000 million to over us dollar that is us dollar it is written us dollar 100 million to us dollar 5 billion million and billion just see asia asia's first cancer hospital the tata memorial 
Center for Cancer Research and Treatment. As he achieved so many things, okay, he was having so many industries. He was not greedy. He has not done like this that this much money or this much things I am just implementing or I am getting, I am uh, uh, awarding or I am I am achieving. So with that he has made one cancer hospital which is the largest hospital of Asia. Asia is the largest hospital that is the Tata Memorial Center of Cancer and Research Treatment. Their treatment and research also been used to be done. He also founded the Tata Institute of Social Science. Okay, that is why he has been awarded because he done so much for the world, so much for the people, so much for the country. He was awarded with Padma Vibhushan plus the Bharat Ratna Award for his achievements and for the work he has done for the country now my dear we are having with us a picture of indira gandhi indira gandhi was born on 19 november 1970 in allahabad uttar pradesh india her full name was priya darshini gandhi she was the only child of jawaharlal nehru jawaharlal nehru we all used to know we all are knowing the name Jawaharlal Nehru. We used to celebrate Children's Day on his birthday. And Kamla Nehru. Kamla Nehru was the wife of Jawaharlal Nehru. Her father Jawaharlal Nehru led India's political struggle for independence from British rule. Her father, her father was a great Indian fighter, freedom fighter. And become the first Prime Minister of India. Who? Not Indira Gandhi. His father became the first Prime Minister of India. India and Indira Gandhi was the daughter of Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru as well as Kamala Nehru. Indira Gandhi was the most mostly taught at home. She get the education at home only. She also studies at Vishwa Bharti in Shanti Niketan. She took active part in the freedom struggle of India. As his father was a freedom fighter, she was also just keeping his foot with him. She was also just fighting for the struggle and she was also fighting okay, with the British and she also struggled for the freedom of India. She became the president of the Congress party in May 1964. Indira Gandhi became the prime minister. India Gandhi became the minister of information and broadcasting in Lal Bahadur Shastri's government. Means when Lal Bahadur Shastri was the prime minister, the second prime minister, at in his government he became the minister and of information and broadcasting. She was very. Uh, she uh, she was uh, she is a very good child and she got all her education at home only and with that education only she has done so much of the things for the world for that and all his achievement or all, all her achievement she has got the Bharat Ratna award she was I can say she was the first woman also who has got this prestigious award. This name is very much known to you all. Those who love to watch cricket, I know the name of Sachin Tendulkar no, is non, un, not unknown to you all. Sachin Tendulkar, okay. Born in 1973, the birthplace of Sachin Tendulkar is Mumbai, Maharashtra. Major team, Indian Mumbai, India, Mumbai, Mumbai Indian and Yogishri. These were the team, okay, international runs which he has made in test ODI and T20 is 34,357. In international 50s and 100, okay, he scored 160 out of 100, 160 by 100. He got so many of the notable awards that is Arjuna award in 1994, Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratna award in 1997. Padma Shri in 1999, Padma Vibhushan in 2008 and Bharat Rath in the recent year that is 2013. In his, in his, you can see,
you can see is named after his father ramesh tendulkar favorite music director sachin dev burman holds the record for the most hundreds in both test and odi his first ever international century came against england in test match or at old tirford in 1990 broke a 40 year old barrier in 2010 by scoring the first odi double century century means one century means 100 run double means 200 runs one versus south versus south african in gwalior in 2012 become the first player to score 100 international centuries while playing against the bangladesh in the asia's cup in dhaka he has achieved so many of the things in his life my dear and from a very early age he started playing cricket okay he was not know, he was not knowing this that by playing the cricket he will achieve this much award but it was his passion he loved to play, play cricket so he so he has involved himself in cricket and with that only he achieved so many of the award he done so much for the country and he was the one of the best or we can say one of the very finest player of indian cricket team now he has retired and now he has he is not playing but he was been awarded in 2013 for as a um, by bharat ratna award and so many other awards also he has got now my dear we are here with mother teresa mother teresa was born as agnes gon sack as agnes bonza uh, sorry gon gon gonha gonha was hayo on august 26 1910 at skof z a small village in yo Yugoslavia okay at the 18 she decided to become nun and so she became okay india in india in 1929 and made the country her home she came to india from there and she decided to become nun what do you mean by nun my dear nun is a person who used to just devote his whole life for the for helping the poor for helping the needy and she was she has dis, uh, she has never married anyone okay so the whole life she has spent on helping on uh, uh, providing things and uh, helping the needy and the person who need who were in need he came to india in 1929 and made the country her home he came to india in 1900 and 29 and made this world as her home this country as her home okay so many things are written about her you can see she start she started a teacher she started as a teacher in lotero convent at in tally kolkata on september 10 1946 while going to darjeeling she decided to leave the convent in order to serve the poor and downtrodden mother teresa teresa found nirmala hirday at kalighat as the first shelter for the sufferers then she founded the missionaries of charity in 1950 she was the she was awarded the nobel prize nobel P prize for the peace in 1974 and the bharat ratna award in 1980 she died on 5th september 1997 we mourn her death as loss of humanity because she served her whole life for the humanity for the kindness for the helping the poor so it's the loss of ours that she died mother teresa was so kind and generous lady and she has got the bharat ratna award in 1980 the next one 
is the Indian freedom fighter Khan Abdul Zafar Khan and Gandhi ji's picture is also with him Abdul Zafar Khan was a great freedom fighter who had had a follower from all over the northern india and he was known as the frontier gandhi he was one of the non violent soldier of islam and support ashi ahimsa and satyagraha he played a huge role for khal khilafat movement against british he also opposed the concept of creating pakistan he was an album almanus Elim, of aligarh muslim university he was jailed for 13 years by the british in total okay he was the he was although a muslim but he fought for the non violence okay and satyagraha movement and ahimsa movement with gandhi ji okay and he don't want that the indian pakistan get the separated for that he fought so many and for that only he has been awarded with the award he was a non indian but still he got the award for the achievements and the fight which he has done for the country next one is nelson mandela south african president from 1980 1918 to 2013 Nelson Mandela was a non-violent and anti-apartheid activities who became South Africa's first black president after winning the country's first democratic election his birth July 18 is celebrated as the Mandela Day and a day to promote global peace he worked so hard for the global peace okay and the harmony so he was been awarded for his peace work for the country of country okay and he was also a non indian he was also an african but he also worked for the global peace and for that he has got the bharat ratna award now we have a legend with us that is Vishwanathan Anand was the first sports person to receive the Padma Vibhushan award as well as the Bharat Ratna award. See, Vishwanathan Anand, known as Vishi, born in on 11 December 1969, is a former world chess champion. He come to from India. Vishi is the oldest player in the modern time to become the classic to become the classical world champion for the first time he was 37 when he won in 2007 when he when the world championship was split anand played in both version and he has got the award he was a he is one of the greatest ch- chess player okay of india we can say and we all are knowing the name we all are kno- this name is known to us he is a great chess player and for that he has got the padma vibhushan award and as well as the bharat ratna award karnam maleshwari karnam maleshwari born on june 1st 1975 is an indian athlete she is the best known as weight lifter who won a bronze medal in 2000 summer olympics at sydney at sydney she became the first indian woman to stand on an olympic vector podium and she was the only indian to win a medal in 2000 in olympic games this is the picture of her she is a weight lifter okay and she is a athletic athlete also athlete are those person who used to do race they used to run so he she is one of the women you can see who has got the award by rajiv uh, gandhi khel ratna award as she has re- received the bharat ratna award okay and she was she is a great lady now we are here with kc naidu 
okay in your book the naidu spelling is given n a i d u and here it is given n a y d u t d u so both are correct there is no issue k c k naidu born october 31st 1895 was the first world class cricketer to represent india in test cricket arunabha arun arunabha sen gupta arunabha sen gupta looked back at the life and the career of and the career of the man who was instrumental in getting india the test status and played first class te- cricket till he was 61 he played cricket till he was 61 and then after that he got retired for this cricket he is was a great cricket player and for the achievements and the work which he has done for the country in the field of cricket he got the bharat ratna award now we are having one army man here a hero for generation of soldiers major somnath sharma new delhi major somnath sharma P- pvc 1923 1947 was the first recipient of the paramvir chakra paramvir chakra being awarded to those person who used to do so much in the field of uh, uh, so much for the uh, for the country by fighting with the people who are not of the country or who want to uh, harm the country in any of the way the highest indian gallantry award paramvir chakra is the highest gallantry award he was the awarded the medal he was also given with the medal for his bravery in the kashmir operation he fought in the kashmir operation in the november on november 1947 he died while while evicting pakistan in fiations and radars from the shri nagar airport during the indo pakistan war okay he he has sacrificed his life for fighting for the country and for fighting and for making the country proud and for making the country safe so he was a great soldier we can say and we all should keep his name every time with us so in our mind because he was a great soldier major somnath major somnath sharma was was born okay major somnath sharma was born was born on 31st january 1923 at dha gan kanjra kanjra then in punjab provision okay he fought so much his father was also a major general and from his him only he got the inspiration okay to work as a soldier for the country and for the his achievements and the war which he has fought for that he got the bharat ratna award the last person which i am having with me i don't know you are knowing the name of nirjara or not he is she was a air hostess an indian fighter attendant hide the passports of the american passengers on the board on the board a uh, hijacked hijack means when a plane is being uh, taken over by some un uh, wanted people and they want to harm the people who are on the that flight so she fought with them okay and saved them from the hijackers she fought for all the american passengers and she saved them from the hijackers she died while selling their three childs from a hell of bullets when she was trying to save everyone from the hijackers the hijackers started uh, the hijackers were selling the bullets okay they were just helling of bullet they were started they uh, the hijackers just want to they they have kept their gun 
on three of the child and as they were going to kill them she came in between them and the bullet goes the bullet kill nirjara and she, while saving three child she lost her life she was a great fighter okay and her full name was nirjara bhanut okay her full name was was nirjara bhanut and she died as a hero that is all my dear thank you everyone i hope you all have enjoyed the chapter that and you have got a knowledge about some of the great persons and achievers of the country and the world that is all thank you everyone